everyone. This is Lucas Ross Sports, Lucas Ross, your commentator. And we continue our 2022 college football predictions. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are up next. I'll give you my thoughts on this team, give you an official prediction for this team, and give you a schedule look, and we'll go from there. But before we do that, though, let's look back at 2021 for this Georgia Tech team. 2021, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets went 3-9. Uh, not the record that I predicted in the go last year, but 3-9 and nine was not really overall a good season for this Georgia Tech team. Another tough schedule for them last year as well, and the schedule we'll get to it in just a minute. The offense and defensive rankings were really not that similar, but, you know, close to being similar. The offense was 95th last year on offense. This team was not really good on offense. They haven't been in the last few years. Defensively, 110th in the defense inside the ball. Not really good. Let's be honest, the defense was not really that good. Not explosive at all. 24 points and on the offense given up, or actually the offense um, put on defensively, 33 and a half points given up on the defensive side of the ball. So, you know, not really good numbers for Georgia Tech last year. I just think that schedule was tough, but they did get an ACC win over North Carolina in the season. So, I mean, Georgia Tech had a few wins from there in the ACC. Um, you look at the production percentage coming back this year, this is going to be a young Georgia Tech team like it always is. Seems like every single year. And I, th I think Georgia Tech has a lot of question marks, let's be honest. They have a lot of question marks. Here's that 2022 schedule for Georgia Tech. And you see that opening game against Clemson. Seems like they open up a games with Clemson every single year. And this game is at Atlanta. I know it's a, you know, a home field advantage game for Georgia Tech, but... Let's be honest, it's Clemson. I don't really see, you know, Georgia Tech really competing in this game. I think with Clemson, all their production they have coming back on the offensive side of the ball. Eventually, they have quite a bit coming back, but, you know, not really like they were last year. But Clemson should overall still be talented, and I think Clemson will win this one. Not, like, probably by a blowout. Let's be honest, I, I don't think, I, I really don't see Georgia Tech competing in this game. I do have Georgia Tech, though, competing. Um, and taking care of business against Western Carolina at home on September 10th. And that game on September the 5th was on a Monday night, so I mean, that's pretty big. That's like on Labor Day weekend, I believe. So I mean, that's that's pretty much a game where it could go either way. But you know, it's a game that I don't really see Georgia Tech competing. Ole Miss is next here at home. This is an interesting matchup. Ole Miss coming in, Lane Kiffin obviously down there. Ole Miss loses Matt Corral. They're going to be a lot different this year. I mean, Georgia Tech could potentially win this game, but it depends on what their offense does in this game and see how the defense steps up. But I really don't see Georgia Tech defeating Ole Miss in this game, to be honest with you guys. I really don't see Georgia Tech, you know, you know, going in here at home. They may get, they may get close with them in the first half, but I think offensively, Ole Miss is too talented. Defensively, they bring quite a lot coming back as well. So, I mean, Ole Miss should be really good this year, no doubt about that. But, you know, Ole Miss has a lot coming back on the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, they're going to be really young. So, I mean, that's a game that can go either way as well. But I just don't see Georgia Tech winning. Next game on the road at UCF. You know, Gus Malzahn is down there. UCF does lose quite a lot of talent from last year's team. I know this is a game that, you know, Georgia Tech can take care of business in, but this is not going to be an easy game. Let's be honest, it's on the road, and it's going to be a tough stretch there in the month of September because they do not have an easy non-conference at all on the schedule. The only game, I believe, is Western Carolina. So, I mean, this game right here, I had to go with UCF. I think on the road, it's too tough. UCF probably has more talent than Georgia Tech, but maybe Georgia Tech has more talent than UCF. I just think with it being on the road, it's going to be a tough place to play, and I think UCF will win. Next game on the road at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh loses Kenny Pickett at quarterback this year. We know Kenny Pickett's gone now, but who knows? You know, Pittsburgh still could be a great team. You know, they bring quite a bit coming back this year. You know, they are probably a top 30 production percentage team this year in terms of coming back on both sides of the ball. I know Kenny Pickett's gone, but, you know, it's – it's a game that I think I don't really see Georgia Tech winning. I don't really see them competing here on the road against Pittsburgh. I think Georgia Tech's going to have a hard time, like they not like they did last year, but maybe the year before. And I think it's going to be a win there for Pittsburgh. So tough start there. You know, it's one and four now for Georgia Tech. And now next game against Duke at home. This game is pretty interesting. Duke is going to be a young team this year. Who has more talent? Does Georgia Tech have more talent than Duke? I think they do. I think Duke has a little bit lesser talent than Georgia Tech. But this game, 
can go either way. It's going to be a game that can go either way. I really see it, you know, being close throughout all four quarters. At the end of the day, though, with Georgia Tech being at home and the production percentage ahead of them and the returning production percentage there for them, I think Georgia Tech will get their first ACC win here, and I think they will defeat Duke at home. Next game at home against Virginia. This game is right after a bye week. Um, Virginia is going to be a young team this year, really young on both sides of the ball, to be honest with you. Defensively, they're going to be really young. Virginia was great last year. They were a really good team last year, but the honest answer is, is Virginia going to be that same team from last year? I don't really think so. And I think with Georgia Tech being at home and the production returning production percentage ahead of them, the home field advantage is there for them. And I think Georgia Tech does win back-to-back games here. I think they do. I think it's I'm – I'm not saying it's going to happen, but, you know, I think Georgia Tech can pull out a win here against Virginia. That bye week also gives them the advantage, so they get a little time off after that brutal stretch in September and, you know, maybe in a little bit of October, but they do get a win here against Virginia. Next game on the road at Florida State. Florida State is a team that is bringing a lot back on defense. This team could potentially be one of the top defenses in the country this year, maybe the top defense in the ACC this year as well. But I don't really see Georgia Tech competing in this game at all. I really see Florida State just going in there and be firing it up here on this one. I don't really see Georgia Tech really competing on the road at Florida State. And, you know, that's that's a tough stretch there. You know, you get Florida State out of the Atlantic Division. You also get Clemson. You know, of course, you have to play Clemson every single year. So this schedule is tough. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But next game on the road at Virginia Tech. I really don't see Georgia Tech competing in this game either. You know, I don't really see Georgia Tech competing in a lot of games this year. Virginia Tech does bring quite a a little bit back on the defensive side of the ball. They do return a little bit back on the defensive side of the ball offensively. They're going to be a little bit young. You know, a little bit young, but you're not really that young. But, you know, Virginia Tech's going to be still pretty good on defense. I think with this one, though, I think Georgia Tech can compete. Maybe in the first quarter, but I think at the end of the day, with it being on the road, it's too tough place to play here. I think Virginia Tech is too talented, and I think it's going to be a loss there for Georgia Tech. Next game at home against Miami. Miami is a team that brings a lot back on the defensive side of the ball. This team has a chance to be a top three defense this year in the ACC. Maybe not in the country, but maybe a top ten defense. But this game right here, I don't really see you know Georgia Tech. I know it's a game at home for them. I don't really see them, you know, competing, though, against Miami, to be honest with you guys. Georgia Tech's going to have a lot of tough games this year, let's be honest. We'll get to that in just a minute. But Miami is a team that I don't really see Georgia Tech pulling out off an upset here. I think it's going to be a win there for Miami. Next game on the road at North Carolina. These are back-to-back road games as well. North Carolina, though, we know Georgia Tech defeated them last year. Is North Carolina, you know, having revenge in this game? They're going to be really young on offense. Let's be honest. North Carolina is going to be really young on offense. They lose Sam Howell at quarterback. How are they going to do without him? But with it being on the road and the defense going to be really quite good as well for North Carolina, I really don't see Georgia Tech competing in the second half of this game. Maybe it goes into the first half, but I think North Carolina is too talented, and I think they will get the win here. Too tough of a place to play as well. So those are tough games there on back-to-back on the roads as well. So, I mean, but North Carolina is going to be a loss there. And then there's that game on the road at Georgia. I know Georgia is too talented here. I really don't see Georgia Tech competing in this game. Georgia's just owned Georgia Tech in the last few years. Let's be honest, when is the next time Georgia Tech's going to defeat Georgia? That is the question. But Kirby Smart, we know how he is down there. I really don't see Georgia Tech competing at all. And this schedule is brutal. You know, this schedule is just brutal for Georgia Tech. Clemson, you know, you get Clemson, Ole Miss out of the SEC, UCF out of the American Atlantic, and then you get Florida State out of the Atlantic Division, and you also get Georgia out of the SEC as well. So you have to play two SEC teams. That is just brutal for Georgia Tech. They get a tough schedule every single year, it seems like. And the overall prediction comes out to be 3-9 and nine once again for Georgia Tech. So same record from last year. You know, this team had them winning a couple ACC games, though, which is really good. But Georgia Tech, still plenty to build on. I don't really see them being a competitive team in the ACC this year. Give your thoughts on this Georgia Tech team, and we'll continue to do more predictions throughout the week. Stay tuned here for more on Lucas Ross Sports.